Good morning, Maya Babak, as they say here in Pampanga. Um, welcome to, we're on build day 57 here at Casa Texpina. Gentlemen today are uh, continuing where they left off yesterday, so we're looking at today. Uh, they're continuing block wall along the northern face of the, the house. Um, our electrician is in bedroom number three and continuing the outlet installations, uh, the rough ends. Um, here in the center section, they are still working on the um, all the support forms for the attic floor slab. And they are continuing in the bed in the master's bedroom uh, with the uh, making sure it's to grade, uh, getting it compacted, and putting in the G1 gravel and rebar by the end of the day. Uh, that's where their uh, main focus is going to be. Um, as they move around from room to room and uh, task to task, I'll show you how that works. So uh, let's get started. So our guys are continuing to work on the uh, north side of the house. Uh, we have hollow block going up uh, over bedroom three, oh, bedroom two and the garage as well as the maid suite and then into the garage um, the man the gentleman here in the middle is mixing more mortar uh, so lots of hollow block work to continue let's take a look around the rest of the house see where everybody's working at all right continuing around we are still working the living room uh, all the floor joists and supports uh, for the attic floor slab so we're continuing to work this um, in the bedroom number three our uh, electrician is continuing to work the outlet boxes uh, getting them roughed in in bedroom two as I showed you from the other side we are continuing to work the oh new guy so we're getting some of the local guys that can make the transit in while some of our other guys are not being able to transit into the area. Um, I believe our usual foreman was not able to make it in this morning. Good morning. So we'll uh, see if he's able to make it in a little later. All right, I got me a bridge today. All right, so. In here, like I mentioned earlier, they are still continuing with the uh, getting the, the grade corrected on the uh, bottom of the floor for the master bedroom. Um, they'll get that leveled out. <clears throat> Once that's leveled out, they'll go back, wet it, compact it, uh, put in G1 gravel, and uh, start putting in the rebar. That'll probably take them most of the rest of the day. All right. So you can see they've already got the supports in for the uh, door frame that's going to come in a little bit later and they gave me a little bridge there so i can walk past all right let's uh, we got a delivery today looks like more uh two by two cocoa lumber and the uh aluminum pieces that they'll be using for uh the supports on the attic floor slab all right so we're getting some some more pieces in for the delivery. They'll be placing these here on the side. Stack them up. And like I said, these are uh, two by two pieces of cocoa lumber that they use for uh, bracing the forms. And then these uh, aluminum pieces are like, uh, they're basically aluminum studs. And they're using them here for uh, the bracing. Uh, of the uh, attic floor slab all right time for a mid-morning walk around see where people are at um, looks like we are still continuing with the hollow block above the maid suite um, also the other side of the garage and the guys are continuing with the uh, support beams and um, forms above the hallway half bath uh, which will connect up to the attic floor slab that's 
there. Right, Mr. Justin's working over here in the front by the bay window and Jack and Jill bath. Can't see him from this angle. Let's catch on the uh, on the electrical outlets. Looks like he's getting ready to put in some uh, conduit. All right, we'll check back on him later. Coming into the front door, they've got most of the supports up for the last section of flooring. And then once that's in place and secured, they'll start putting in the uh, plywood sheeting over the top. At some point, I'm going to get up there and find out what's going on on top, or I'll do another drone footage shot and find out what's going on, see where they're at as far as putting in rebar. Okay, looks like they've got the master bedroom uh, to grade. And they are getting it compacted. This is their compaction hammer. Uh, it's a length of about uh, 20 to 20 to 30 centimeter long piece of uh, steel I-beam connected to rebar and it has a with handles. Uh, that's what they do uh, shoulder lifts with. And on this side, they're still working their way out. Getting rid of the excess fill. All right. That's about where everybody's at this morning. All right. We're going to take a quick post-lunch walk around. See where everybody's at. Uh, still in the above the maid suite. Putting up the additional course of the hollow block. Still above the garage area, putting up again additional course of the hollow block. And uh, you see the guy sitting here. They are working on the um, hallway half bath, uh, putting the additional uh, support beams, uh, not really support beams, sorry, um, floor joists and form material uh, to support the, the concrete flooring for their that'll be on the same level as the attic floor slab. These guys in the hallway here are going up, getting ready to continue working uh, this area uh, around bedroom two. Let's go ahead and cruise around to the front, see where everybody else is at. Mr. Tuck is still working along, doing the uh, electrical rough end. So, still getting there. Roughing in the conduit now. So he's got the two done from the TV down to the electrical outlets. And then the electrical outlets will come across underneath the floor slab. All right, let's go look and see what else is going on. All right, up above the living room. You guys are still uh, putting in the additional bracing that's required. So in this, uh, this side is going to look like these. Uh, so it'll have all the bracing done underneath right side to side and then uh, plywood over the top of that uh, before they start putting up the uh, uh, rebar on the top side if i can again if i can figure out a way to get up there i'm going to go to, uh, get up there and take a look around uh, it might be just a drone footage though all right Go. Let's 
Okay. So you're putting in the uh, G1 gravel at the bottom of the uh, beams there. They're going to put in some additional block for the foundation of the um, door frame. This will be the door frame and going between the uh, hallway and the master uh, suite. And then Mr. Jericho's down at the end, spraying down the uh, dirt for the floor and also the, the brick walls uh, so that they get a little extra moisture on them. And as well as um, they'll use that to start tamping. All right, get out of everybody's way and let him get back to work. It's coming down into the guest room area. Like I showed you from the outside of the window, Mr. Tuck is continuing with the uh, conduit rough in. Uh, these guys are repositioning the uh, scaffolding to get a better angle on some of the block wall that they're doing uh, around the interior portions as well as the guys up top are putting in the bracing required for the uh, floor support for the attic floor slab.
right, let's go take a walk around and see where everybody's at close to the end of the day. Um, the guys here in the maid suite uh, are just in the middle of moving their uh, scaffolding over, uh, getting ready to start on another wall. Uh, as you can see, they've got from the back of the, from the porch side of the house, this is the, uh, this is the bathroom section in the center. So the, the utility room on that side is done all the way up to the fifth course. Um, and he's getting ready to start on this side as well, finishing this wall here. And I believe he's got the other wall already done up to five courses. So they're gonna start on the middle one and, and do it. That's a short wall um, and it's 4.30. He's probably not going to finish that today. That'll be on. Uh, that'll be a tomorrow thing. All right, continuing on in the rest of the house. Most of the guys have been focused on uh, this large center section with the uh, attic floor slab. Um, you can take a look through this. is like a, a, a forest of floor jacks. <clears throat> it's like can't see you can't see straight through from one side to the other it is really hard um, and they're still putting up the floor jacks to support uh, the the last section uh, closest to the wall uh, these other sections are done uh, plywood is over the top and uh, the next thing that'll happen is once they get the plywood on that last section down there they'll be going through and putting the uh, rebar up on the top they are also starting let me go ahead and cruise through here, see if I can get through. Um, they're also starting up above me. They're also starting to do the um, form forms for the outside of all those if I can cruise through here. Oh, find a way to get through. Oh, it's like going through a maze. All right, so yeah, the next thing is going to be all these, uh, where you see all the exposed rebar, that's getting forms uh, starting tomorrow. So that's the majority of it. Same thing with the, uh, the columns. All of those are going to get covered uh, with wood forms. Uh, once they're all covered up, uh, probably it may take until the end of the week. We may look at uh, concrete on Monday if possible. I'm not sure what kind of deliveries we'll be able to get considering we, are, we do have uh, uh, travel restrictions and lockdowns in place. Uh, let's go take a look back here at the uh, master bedroom area. They've got the... Uh, doorway filled back in so that'll be the threshold for the doorway this here is still working through bathroom is about done they still got to do the uh, the water closet area all right so They've been still working on the floor supports for the half bath in the hallway as well as the half bath for up in the attic space. I'll put some plywood on that tomorrow. Um, here in bedroom three, Mr. Talk has got all the uh, uh, the rough ends are, are done. So going around the room, one over here. And there, looks good so far. Again, these are rough ends. So the, uh, the conduits are hidden behind the, the mortar and underneath the slab. All right, what else was done down this section? Uh, he's moving into the bedroom two area. So this will be where he starts out tomorrow. Um, and all the uh, hollow block for this area has been added an, an additional two Horses. All right, so that's pretty much a wrap of what everybody's done. But done. All right, so we're going to wrap up today on build day 57. Today's business, what they took care of, um, we've got the 
floor for the master bedroom uh, pretty much to level and they'll uh, have been compacting and working on that all day um, they'll be putting rebar in that tomorrow um, the attic floor slab uh, the forms are going on for it the uh, the bracing uh, is on the last section uh, towards the wall uh, they'll put uh, some more uh, plywood sheeting on the bottom of that tomorrow um, also over on this end um, mr. talk our electrician uh, finished with the electrical rough end for bedroom three and has moved on to bedroom two um, as well as our masons uh, both in the garage area and the uh, bedroom two area um, have been working on the additional courses of hollow block and they will continue that tomorrow as well so if you like today's video please give us a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these videos hit the uh, subscribe button or the cost text penis star right here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified when our next videos becomes available for your viewing pleasure. Until then, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.